Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Although it's an easy question and we don't bring an easy question unless there is something involved in that easy question. This I am bringing because of the use of STL which you should know. Again, this is more for a folks who have C++ as their language but will same work for Java also. Not for Python because Python is also already very simple. It simply says that you have these conditions and you have to just verify if the word is valid or not. If it's valid, return true else return a false and how to know if the word is, word is valid or not the first condition is the length should be more than equal to 3 that's first condition that n should be more than equal to 3 next condition is that it should contain either digits or uppercase or lowercase letters only which means that i have a string s it should have either digits or uppercase or lowercase letters that's it. No dollar, no hash, no uh, nothing else. Only these. And again, I'm not saying that all of them should be present. Uh -huh. S can have all these also. It can have only uppercase also. That's also possible. So, but if he's saying that only these should present. Next condition is that it should include at least one vowel. Now, this vowel can be a lowercase vowel also or uppercase vowel also. But I will have a vowel. It can be again a lowercase or uppercase vowel. Make sure. It should also have a consonant. Again, this consonant can be a lowercase consonant or an uppercase consonant. Now you have to just validate these five conditions and have to tell if your word is correct or not. I will use the exact same thing but with the help of an STL. How? I will firstly take a set S which will give me all the vowels. Again, there is no STL to tell or to get to know what are vowels. You have to just take a, a set or maybe a map, an order map or a hash map, but you have to take that. So I took all of them. Again, I can only take only the lowercase ones because I know I can easily convert any character to a, to a lowercase character and then can check. But to be more simple, I took both uppercase and lowercase vowels. That's it. Now, the first condition was if the length is less than three, simply return a false if not then i had a few flags it is a digit flag it is a uppercase flag it is a lowercase flag it is a vowel flag it is a consonant flag as you can see d for digits u for u for uppercase l for lowercase v for vowel c for consonant now i go on to all the characters and accordingly i will populate these flags if i find a digit i will say true if I find uppercase, I will say true. If I find a lowercase, I will say true. If I find a vowel, I will say true. If I find a consonant, I will say true. If make sure to also satisfy this condition that it should have only digits or uppercase or lowercase, which means it should be either a digit or an alphabet. That's it. So first condition is I will check if it is neither a digit nor an alphabet, <laughs> which means it has violated my condition. Return or false directly. If not, then check. If it's a digit, mark your digit flag as true. If it's a lowercase letter, mark your lowercase letter as true. If it's your uppercase letter, mark your uppercase flag as true. If it's a vowel, which means it is inside your set, which you have taken, this set, then mark your vowel flag as true. And make sure you also have to check the consonant flag. So if it is not a digit, sorry, if it is, if it is, a, sorry, if it is an alphabet and not a vowel, then it's a consonant. So mark that consonant flag as true. Now, considering the exact same condition, it should have a consonant. It should have a vowel. It's a reason I'm saying and condition. And also that I should have either a digit or a lowercase or uppercase letter. So uh, all condition between them, because if you remember, I'm saying I should have this not necessarily all of them but any one of them will actually be more than sufficient so all condition here so that is how simply see the main prime aim for you to teach this problem is to make you sure to make sure you know you have a is alphabet you have you have a count in your set you have a is uppercase you have a is lowercase you have a is digit and there is also two lower two upper this function also so you should be knowing these functions these are very very helpful cool bye bye take care